Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss about the output values. So as the name suggests, we are looking for the output. So in QTP, an output value is a strip in which a object property value is captured at a specific point in your test and stored at a desired location. The stored value can be used as input at a different points in the test script. Multiple properties of an object can be selected and outputted. Okay, so there are four types of output value in the QTP. The first one is the standard output value. The second is text and text area, text or text area. The third one is database output value. And the fourth is XML output value. So these are the four types of the output values that are supported by the QTP. And the one thing that output values works in the similar manner as the checkpoint does. It almost same. The only difference between the checkpoints and the output value is in the checkpoints, we are verifying the property of the value. Whereas in the output values, we are capturing the value of a property into some location. Okay. So to understand the output value, let's take one scenario from our traveling site. And the scenario is we want to verify that the flight should not listed on inputting the invalid data and proper message appears on the screen like this way. See in this side, okay, I have entered the flight only option, the one way option provided the from city, but not provided the to city. So on clicking on this search flights, it will prompt me a message that you have not told us that where you are going. So this field is mandatory and we are not inputted this field. That's why the message is here. So to do this scenario, we have simple these steps. Launch orbis.com, select flight only option, select one way option, then entering source city, destination city, journey date and click on the search flight. So let's do the recording for these steps in the QTP to the record and we want to work on to the orbis.com then press OK. Okay, so select the flight only option here. Select the one way option. Enter the source city. Okay, enter the Dallas city. Enter the date. Okay. And then we'll click on that search flight button. Okay, now here we want to apply the output value on this message. Okay, you can apply the output from here insert in the similar manner as we did the check points output value and select the, the standard output value option. Now click on the message because we want to record this message here. The object appears and then press OK. Now here the two properties that are supported by this uh, object. So we want to capture the text of that message. That's why we'll take this option. Okay. Here the name QTP by default assigns the name of the output value. We can change it as per our need. So let's change the name. Okay. So let's give it as error message. Okay. Now where do you want to store this output value? To specify a location, the option is here from modify. Here, the two options is there. The first one is data table and the second one is environment. If you select the environment, you have to mention the name of the environment and the environment variable created by that name. And you can use that environment variable whenever you want to get this error message. Now, let's use the data table as of now. Okay. Now, here the name of the column in which the message appears. Let's say give it error message. Okay. And then press OK. Now see the icon gets changed from constant to a data table and then press OK. Okay, so once you apply this, then click on the search flights button and let's stop the recording. Okay, now see here, here output statements gets recorded similar as the checkpoints check statement. So it will told uh, QTP that we have applied the output value on this object. Okay, now if you see on the data table, see one column gets added as the error message because we have defined the error message there. Okay, now let's do the different data over here. 
Okay, let's do the parameterization of the source and the destination city from the keyword view option. Okay, let's go to the SFO and let's do the parameterization as we did here. Let's put here is source. Okay, then press OK and in the destination, let's put the here the destination. Okay, then press the OK. Now, if we see in the data table, we have source column as well as the destination column as well as here. Now, put some value over here. Let's say in first of the column, we will not put this uh, source here. And let's say uh, the second iteration, we have the source, but we do not have the destination. Okay. Now, let's play this script and let's see what happens when we play this script in the QTP. Okay. So run this script and let's see what happens when this output values sheet gets run. Run from here, select the option okay. and see the script is going on one by one step. We have a two iterations in this step. Okay, so when the script gets completed, the value means the error messages gets recorded to our data table. One way it is entering is not entering the from city and the only the to city then search flights and see the message is appearing here okay now it will go to the second iteration where we have provided the source city but not the destination one source city is not entering the destination entering the date and then press up Now see the next other message appears when we have entered the only the source city now let's go to the results of this test so let's open the results of this test so this is the test and we have the two iterations and here the data table for each iteration now see here we have one column error message then source and city see for the first iteration where we have not provided the source here the error message is like this you have not told us where would you like to start your flight okay and when we have not provided the destination the another error messages gets captured okay so in the output value we can capture the value of the property now if we want to use this output value as an input to another thing we can use that as an input also so this is how the output value works in the QTP you can apply the output value only at the time of the debugging you cannot apply when you are doing the uh, ex execution or when you are doing the scripting manually scripting of the code okay so there are four types of the checkpoints similar way as the standard checkpoints works the other checkpoints as well as work if you want to apply the output value on the text and the text area you can do in the same manner similarly you can do in the database and the xml okay so that's all about the output value in the qtp thank you